Welcome back, UB. So, another episode here on How to Arc. Today, I'm going to be showing you the best stone collector. And that's our friend over there. Wait, where's he gone? Hello? Friend? <laughs> Where did he go? He was just here. Are you hiding behind this rock? What? what? Teleportated. But how? Oh, there he is. Hey, he's blended in. It's a deal, Dick. <laughs> here he is, guys. This little armadillo, bro. This guy is amazing. Um, awesome for getting stone and. It's really good at mobility as well. So I'm just going to show you, unlike the Anklio video that I made last episode, I actually want to show you taming this guy because it can be a little bit difficult because he can turn up into a ball and he takes less damage and it's a pain in the ass. So two ways. You can either hit him if you're a lower level and you can get him to chase you all the way up until you drag him up into this one by one or this, yeah, one by one there. Um, or if you've got an RG like me, you can just fly up to them, pick him up by right-clicking. Going over here and dropping them off in this containment. If you can get it right. There we go. Nice and easy. So now he's got trapped in our containment. We've done it the easy way. And we're just going to start pelting him. So we're going to start pelting him. And while we're doing that, I'm just going to discuss a few things. Okay, so to be able to ride this guy, you need to be level 34 to unlock the saddle. So um, quite, it's a very early game, so you could get to level 34 quite quickly. Um, and this guy, um, you sort of... Ah, no! <laughs> You don't want to stand around like an idiot like I did. Uh, this guy, you want to sort of aim for his legs, the soft area, because if you hit him on the shell, he takes reduced damage. Okay, that really showed it well, Jay. Well done. Hey, you, their range is amazing. <laughs> um, you want to just go and hit them in the legs and stuff, because if these guys take too much damage, then he's going to turn into a ball like this, and it becomes really annoying. Uh, luckily, we can still see his flesh because if he was on top and you hit the rock, um, no, it would actually do something. It's just that the game hates me at times. You don't do as much torpor. So I, I don't know why. I always go here and try and hit it from underneath. You do a little bit more damage, I feel like, or at the legs or something, the fleshy parts. I don't like to hit the shell as much uh, just for the reduced torpor. And you want to keep spraying it, but you want to be careful because with the goes this ball, uh, normally means that the getting close to death in my in my um non-expertise that's what i found anyway so while we're just doing this the best ways to tame these guys are through regular kibble just like the ankleo and it's the same sort of levels for the thing so if you use just normal berries it's a 23 percent effectiveness if you use mejo berries it's a 40 percent effectiveness and if you use crops it's a 54 percent effectiveness and then if you use regular kibble, it's a 99.2% effectiveness. So just to give you some like levels off the top of that, if this was a level 180 and we fed it uh, Mejo Berries, it would gain 30 levels with a 30% effectiveness, making it like a 210. If we fed it crops, then this guy would have a 54% effectiveness, which would give us 40 levels, uh, which would be at the 190 stage. Sorry, no, that's going off 150. It's supposed to be on 180. Uh, and then if you do the regular kibble, that's a 74 level increase for the 99% effective. So basically, the, the basic thing for if you go in for kibble-based tames is that you're pretty much doubling the level. Just under doubling, so that's a nice thing to go for. If you can do kibble, do kibble. There we go, so it's finally knocked down. It took a hell of a lot more bullets because it went into the ball uh, shape. There we go, he's down. It probably took about, I'm going to say about 5 minutes and about 50 darts for level 66, which sucked. Um, so you can put the berries in there, but I'm going to go to one that I prepared later, earlier. Wait, that, that really didn't work. I was trying to be like a cooking show. This is what I made earlier. Okay, so here's my cool level 299 Dio Dick. I like this one. Um, so this, this is my guy. Look at him. He's so cool. So they're quite slow still, but I've just pumped in weight to this guy. He's got a thousand weight. He's amazing. Um, so what you could do with this guy is you could press, um, you could right click or put him into like a ball motion, which is so cool. You sort of disappear, which is really weird, um, and you can't control which direction you go. You can only go straight, but this is like really useful if you're full of stone and you want to get around. I really like these guys for travel, like especially if you're just going to get stones. So like it, it, it's not that it's not that slow to be fair. It is it is a little slow, but it's faster than you getting them to follow you while or you riding it just like walking. So then we just smash this with your left click and look at that. Bam. This is just amazing. So the main thing this guy is good for is getting stone. Right? Look how much stone you got already. This guy is crazy. 
This guy's crazy good. Stamina is pretty decent on it, and it can sort of hold its own against most dinos. Obviously, the big T-Rex and stuff and all that. I don't recommend. But if you have a bunch of gotchas, like me, I have like, I think, six or eight gotchas. I've got eight gotchas here. Yeah, you, you need one of these because they eat stone, and you need to keep getting stone. And this guy is amazing for keep getting stone. So just off a few rocks on this land that we've gone through. Got 200 rocks from that one. And then, whoa, another, like, 300 from that one. Damn, bro, we we flying in rocks today. And then this one is, well, bam! Right, let's have a look, quick look. We've got 2,200 already. Now, granted, my rates are turned up to times three. So just divide that by three, and that's the sort of thing that you're looking at. But off a few rocks, that's amazing. <laughs> you can't argue with that. So, guys, if you enjoyed this episode on how to get um, a doa dick, Please hit the like button, subscribe to become a human being, and I'll see you in the next video. Roll out! I was expecting that to be more dramatic. You got him away, gotcha. What are you playing at? Huh? Huh? What are you playing at?